Today, we're going to talk about automated market making protocols. In the last video, we explained what is decentralized finance. Decentralized finance is a movement to transform financial services we use every day, like savings, investing, or hedging, into open, safe, and secure protocols that function without any intermediaries. And the key ingredient of decentralized finance are smart contracts, which are programs that automatically execute a task or a process when certain conditions are met. Now, before we explain automated market-making protocols, let's explain what is market-making. Now, the, the key term here is actually liquidity. Liquidity is a very important feature of any financial asset, and it describes the ability to easily buy or sell an asset without drastically changing the price. Now, the reason why liquidity is so important for assets is because liquid assets are less risky and more attractive for the end investors. And finally, a market maker is a company that quotes those buy and sell prices and making a digital asset liquid. And to mention, a market makers use either their own capital or capital from other investors to provide liquidity. Now we are ready to explain what are automated market making protocols. And automated market making protocols are actually smart contracts that automatically provide a price to exchange to digital assets. Now, automated market making protocols have a couple of peculiar features. For instance, the first one is that automated market making protocols usually provide a single price for an exchange of two digital assets and not a full order book. Secondly, the price that the automating protocols provide is usually well known and deterministic. The third particular feature of automated market making protocols is that they do not have capital themselves, but they have to actually gather it from third party participants through so called liquidity pools. And the way that participants are incentivized to provide capital to those liquidity pools is because the automated market making protocols share part of the trade fee with the capital providers. And lastly, but not least important, is actually automated market making protocols suffer from the same latency that the centralized networks have, which are still quite slow. Now, automated market making protocols might seem very innovative and new, but it turns out we have had similar attempts in the past in the traditional financial markets where people used similar methods to exchange assets. In the early 90s, the US equity markets implement the so-called small order execution system that mandated market makers to quote prices at predetermined levels for certain stocks. Now, unfortunately, the small order execution system was not a success story because participants easily arbitraged market makers that participated in this particular programs. And those participants who made those arbitrage were actually called the SOES bandits. Automated market making protocols such as Uniswap have gained a lot of traction in the last months. And it has been a very positive development for a lot of smaller projects who wanted to gain traction and exposure without having to be listed on a large digital asset exchange. Unfortunately, the participants in the automated market making protocols still have a lot of risk if they don't understand they have been they are being arbitraged. We at Floftech actually welcome the positive developments of the automated market making protocols and we think they definitely have their place in the future, but in the short term, 
they will not replace professional digital asset exchanges with centralized order books. I hope you enjoyed today's video and thank you for watching.